Here we'll show you how to determine the area of a parallelogram. Here's a normal rectangle. Rectangles have a length and a width. And to find the area of the rectangle, we use the formula area equals length times width. We can also call the length of the bottom side of a rectangle the base, and the height is how high it reaches. So we can also use the formula area equals base times height. Now we'll push this rectangle from the top left and the bottom right. And we'll turn it into a parallelogram. The top and the bottom are parallel to each other. And the left side and right side are also parallel to each other. So this is a parallelogram. The area of a parallelogram is exactly equal to the area of the rectangle it started out as. The area of the rectangle is the base times the height. The base is the length of the line drawn across the bottom. And in a rectangle, the height is the length of the line from the base to the top and is automatically measured at right angles to the base. In a parallelogram made from this rectangle, the base is also the distance across the bottom. And the height is also measured by drawing a line from the base to the top. And this line must be at right angles to the base, as shown here. Like the rectangle it came from, we calculate the area of a parallelogram using the formula area equals base times height. We can use this formula for all parallelograms. Let's do an example. Here is a parallelogram and we're asked to find its area. We are given this ruler to make measurements. We'll measure its base with the ruler. You can see that the base is 20 centimeters long. So we'll mark the base as 20 centimeters and we'll measure the height with the same ruler, which we set at a right angle to the base. We see that the height of this parallelogram is 10 centimeters. So we'll mark the height as 10 centimeters. The formula for the area of a parallelogram is the base times the height, which is 20 centimeters times 10 centimeters, which comes out to 200 centimeters squared, or 200 square centimeters. So we can say that the area of this parallelogram is 200 square centimeters. Here's another example. We're given this purple parallelogram and we're told that the base is 3 centimeters. We're asked to find the area of this parallelogram. We're also given a ruler. We know that the area of a parallelogram is its base times its height. The base is 3 centimeters, but how do we find the height of a parallelogram that is leaning like this? What we do is draw a straight line through the top and extend it to the right. This line shows where the top of the parallelogram is. Next we draw a straight line from the base to the line marking the top. This must be at right angles to the base. The length of this line is the height of this parallelogram. We use the ruler to measure the height and it's 9 centimeters. So we can mark the height as 9 centimeters. To calculate the area, we use the formula area equals base times height, which is 3 centimeters times 9 centimeters. Multiplying 3 centimeters times 9 centimeters gives us 27 centimeters squared, or 27 square centimeters. So the area of this parallelogram is 27 square centimeters.